What is the Get Tested campaign? The Get Tested campaign is an information campaign that's being conducted by the American Social Health Association, ASHA, to try to raise awareness around sexually transmitted infections and the information that young people in particular need to protect themselves. Dr. Can you explain to me what is ASHA? ASHA stands for the American Social Health Association. It's a nonprofit organization founded over 90 years ago in New York City. They have unbiased information they provide around sexually transmitted infection, diagnostic tests, and treatment that's made available through their website. Okay, Doctor, uh, can you maybe elaborate a little bit more on the data that you guys found out and wh where it came from and what the significance of it is? Well, the information that we're sharing today is information we got from Quest Diagnostics. Quest is one of the larger uh, clinical resources in the country. They actually have samples that come in from private offices across the U.S. They shared their chlamydia screening data from last year, looking at just the number of tests that they d did and who had positive tests and who did not. What we found with that data was that for women, the average age for testing was around 28, 29 years of age, and for men it was around 30 years of age. Yet 85% of the positive chlamydia tests were actually in individuals under the age of 25. What this really suggests is that we're testing people, which is good, but we're not testing the right age at high enough numbers. We're actually shifting it to the older age group when the infections are occurring in younger individuals under the age of 25. Now, in regards to chlamydia, um, are people with it uh, at greater risk for HIV? turns out that chlamydia, as well as other sort of classic or traditional sexually transmitted infections, increase the risk of acquiring HIV about two to three-fold. So if you have chlamydia infection that's undiagnosed and untreated, your risk of acquiring HIV goes up. How many people actually have STDs right now? Well, we estimate that there are about 18 million new cases a year of sexually transmitted infections in the United States. About 9 million of those occur in individuals under the age of 25. About one in four adolescents will acquire a sexually transmitted infection this year. Now, what about symptoms? Now, when you have an STD like that, I mean, are there symptoms that when you contract an STD? Well, in terms of symptoms with sexually transmitted infections, the bulk of them don't cause symptoms, yet we can see disease. Chlamydia is probably the best example in which 85% of women who have chlamydia infection have no symptoms, nothing to really cue them into recognizing that they're infected, yet untreated about 40% of these women will go on to develop pelvic inflammatory disease which will actually prevent them from being able to have babies. Now why would you say the statistics for young people contracting STDs is so high? Part of the reason the numbers are so high for young people in this country is we're not having discussions and dialogue. Again, this is one of the reasons why the Get Tested campaign is out there. ASHA has a mission to try to raise awareness, provide better information around sexually transmitted infections. So unless we begin to discuss this, people aren't even going to assume that they're at risk. Okay, and um, how can people avoid, what, what advice would you give to young people out there to avoid contracting STDs? Well, the best way of protecting yourself is to take the steps when you become sexually active to not acquire these things. That means know your status, get tested, make sure your partner gets tested as well. If you're going to have sex, use condoms. We always recommend abstinence for young people, but sexuality is part of being human. So if you're going to be sexually active, you need to take the steps first to protect yourself. The ASHA website, ashastd.org, is a great source of information for anybody. Who should get tested for STDs? Is there anyone more age group more than other? Well, I would say anyone who's sexually active should get tested, but in particular, individuals under the age of 25, if they're sexually active, should go in and request sexually transmitted infection screening, in particular for infections like chlamydia, herpes, HIV. Of course, they should ask, but are physicians routinely screening or taking the approach on that? Physicians have let down their patients in that they're not routinely screening. Only about one out of three physicians routinely screen their young females for chlamydia infection. Yet, the recommendations out of the CDC is that this should happen at least on an annual basis. So to find out where people can get tested, um, the website, or just your local physician. That's right. ASHASD.org is a great resource for where to get tested and to provide more information around these sexually transmitted infections.